So today we're going to take a look at this electric water pistol that I got on Amazon. So this is the front of the box here, it shows off the water pistol. It's got electric firing, it's got apparently leak proof, consistent water, strong water beam. You fill it up and it's got a, cha a rechargeable battery. This is the pink and white variant. And if we flip it over, we can see the blue and white variant. For this video, this is the rest of the box by the way. And for this video, we are going to be looking at the pink version, so that's the one I got. What also comes in the box is the one-page manual, some information there. We don't need to really see that for this video. You also get a charging cable. The battery does come out when you put it on like this little connector, and it charges that way. We have a high-capacity like water tank. We'll put that over there. And this is the gun itself. It comes with this refillable water-like <laughs> magazine, if you will. Let's put your water in. This is the other side of it. But yeah, and you press the trigger and it fires. Obviously, there's no water in it at the moment, but there it is. The battery on this thing is at the back. And all you have to do is take the little cap out. It's a little bit finicky, this part. And in there is our battery. If we try and get that out, you'll see there's our battery. There's that little connector I was on about. And this is the battery. And all you do is just shove that back in there. you got to be careful how you do it because you need this little cap. I believe this is to keep it a bit watertight. Stop water getting in with the battery piece. And then there it is. The pink button there just releases the magazine. And it's just like that. And that's it. So there's not much to show there. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to fire it off. And I'll show you like how powerful it is. But I'm going to say some things first. Because it's looking a bit windy outside. And you're probably not going to hear me. So I might just put some music over the top of that part. It's not as strong as the box makes out. It will. It, obviously it shoots the water out. And it shoots it out quite fast. I would say the distance is probably about 10 to 14 feet that's eye distance i haven't measured it with a tape measure so i could be off on that but i'd say that's my eye distance i'd say that's about where it is this did cost me 23.99 there are some other variants of this this one looks like this there's some more like sci-fi inspired ones it's pretty fun for the money of course it's a... and this is the other end of it. i don't think i showed this end but yeah this is the other end it's not terrible value for money but the strength isn't there. You can you probably shoot empty cans over. You're not going to be shooting anything high powered. You know, like knocking anything like with any substantial weight over or anything like target practice. But it's a lot of fun. I haven't run the battery all the way out yet. It's been a bit cold here. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been outside playing with that too much. But it's not overly powered, I would say. At least mine isn't anyway. Some of these things have can vary in quality, I would say. But, oh... But how you fill the gun up is, you don't actually have to take this out. Obviously, you take it out, you've loaded it up. But the way you fill it is the bottom here. And it's a little bit finicky. You haven't got nails like me. Just put that under a tap, push the cap in. But I think we're going to go outside, do some film. Like I say, I'm probably not going to be speaking in this bit. I've sent me peace on this. It's, it's decent. I'm not a fan of this. I'd have preferred something you could just plug it into, but... It's a bit like, uh, reminds me of like remote control cars. We're going outside and we're going to show you what it can do. I think we'll use the high capacity magazine for outside. But let's go outside. Uh -huh. 